Well, every year, one in four adolescents report some type of abuse from someone they're dating. A local survivor was trying to leave her abuser the day that she was attacked. In this morning's Forever Family segment, we hear about the efforts here in our state to break the domestic violence cycle that so often is the cause of children entering the foster care system. HEART stands for hear, empathize, assess, respect, talk. Today we held a roundtable with leaders here to talk about healthy teen relationships. Including Melissa Dome Hill, who was stabbed and left for dead by her abusive high school ex-boyfriend. I'm very blessed to be alive, to speak as a survivor of an attempted murder domestic violence attack when I was younger. I was actually stabbed 32 times by him oh. and um, I flatline four times. So I have an abuser who is serving life in prison. Today, as the executive director of Hands Across the Bay, Melissa has dedicated her life to domestic violence prevention and awareness, as well as to helping others in need right here in the Tampa Bay area. Our young people need to know that violence is not normal and there are a lot of verbal and emotional, financial, just different kinds of abuse and red flags that people need to be aware of and that's where it starts. The collaborative effort includes a toolkit for both teens and parents to learn about the warning signs and to empower parents to have critical conversations with their youth as well as within the school system, especially because not all teenagers may have access. A lot of families come from broken homes or they're in foster care or these these children have single parents that are working really hard. There is help and it's important to, to talk to somebody about it so that we can work with you to help you safely leave. There is life and love after abuse. You have to stand up for yourself and learn your self-worth and walk away from the situation. Now we have more information and forever family stories on 10tampabay.com. Melissa's story is incredible and the way that she's giving back to people in our community and across the state. Yeah, I've known Melissa for years, uh, was there when her story happened and what she's been able to do from that, from that really what almost turned into a real tragedy there has just been inspirational to, to other women throughout the Bay Area. So, so grateful for her and hands across the Bay.